Now just to a galvanic cell of high importance because it produces no carbon dioxide emissions and it produces electricity and the hydrogen gas potentially can be produced in a green fashion. So looking at your data booklet the direction will be the hydrogen turns into water and the oxygen combines with water but the overall reaction is of course uh, if you combine oxygen and hydrogen it produces water. Now if you go to electrolysis it's coming up next hopefully the teacher will do a demo for you. Uh, you can see that if you zap water with electricity you can create oxygen and hydrogen uh, and so you can get an endless supply of fuel and then your fuel can also give you an endless supply of water well if you don't drink too much so this is quite important for space travel as well as just being green on the planet so you can have a look at the system here so you can see the electricity is being produced and so the uh, here we have the the electrodes are both as nickel the electrolyte here is potassium hydroxide so you need to just pay attention to what's going on here so the oxygen's going in as we see here uh, combining with the water so the oxygen and the water here are combining and then as the equation says the hydroxide is coming out uh, and so if you look up here the hydrogen then combines with the hydroxide to produce water so the hydrogen's coming in here the hydrogen and the hydroxide come over here and produce the water and then you get water out of it and so you can see the do two different parts here and so this one here is the anode uh, this one here is the cathode uh, the cathode uh, is having the electrons uh, come onto it and so that is uh, reduction and it is positive and so that all matches up it's drawn correctly I don't think you'd be asked to draw this one because it is quite different in that it's got a porous electrode it's got it's a slightly different system in order to get the gases to create uh, to interact with the liquids um, so it is uh, a slightly unique setup okay so just be aware of that uh, it's in your syllabus and it looks like a good thing to base questions off in a test because uh, they love to do green questions and uh, this is very important to human civilization in the future so it seems